Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use your calculator. I have a TI-83 uh, Plus here. Um, some of you have an 84 um, and some other types that are very similar to this, and pretty much the, the workings are the same in terms of doing this sort of thing. The first thing I want you to do, though, is check the mode button, which is right next to this yellow key, and make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And as you can see, degree is highlighted there, so the, there's two choices, radian or degree. Now, you might wonder, uh, then hit the clear button. You might wonder, how do I know I want degrees? Well, there's a big hint. There's a degree in there when they're talking about the angle. So the first thing I need to do, though, is I need to change the 18 minutes to a decimal. And that comes out to 0.3. How do I know that? Well, here's how to do it. Turn on your calculator and do 18 divided by 60 and you get 0.3. So now I'm going to type in cosine of 16.3. So type cosine and then 16.3 and then hit enter. And once you do that, you can read a decimal off of the air. We want uh, a decimal to four places. The directions in the book say to round to four places. So the answer comes out to be 0.9598. So that's the decimal equivalent for cosine of 16 degrees 18 minutes. All right. Um, let's try another one. Suppose I want to do the sine of 73 degrees 56 minutes. What's the first thing I'm going to do? Change that to a decimal. Do you remember how? So I'm really going to do the sine of 73 point something degrees. All right. Clear your calculator. Take 56 divided by 60 you get a decimal. This one comes out to be 0.93 and it goes on forever. All right, leave that into your calculator. You've changed that to a decimal. Just do plus 73. Plus 73, hit enter, and now you have 73 in that long decimal. You can double check with your own calculator while we do this. Now I want the sign of that, so I'm going to type, press the sign button. You know where the sign button is, right? Press the sign button, and then, um, rather than type that in, I'm going to use the second answer key, and then hit enter, and I will get the decimal, and I didn't have to type it in. It's better to use the second answer key, that way you will not do a typo, okay? And the answer comes out to point, and we want four decimal places, so point nine six. Zero, 09, the next number is 4, so I'm not going to change that 9. I'm going to keep it like that. So <clears throat> there's a few of these in the book for you to do. Hopefully you can try those. Now there's also some other problems that have um, more than just minutes there, but they have minutes and seconds. So let's try um, one of those. Let me just erase this. And suppose I wanted to do um, number 34 out of the book. And it says to find the secant of 56 degrees, 8 minutes, 10 seconds. So this one's a little bit longer. But again, I do the same process starting from here. I do 10 divided by 60, get the answer. Then I do plus 8. Then I get the answer. Do divided by 60 again. And then I'm going to do 56 point that degrees and get the answer. So here's how we do it. Let's try it together on our calculator. All right, clear everything out. So you're going to do 10 divided by 60. Then hit enter. Oops, clear it out. I didn't do something right here. 10 divided by 60, hit enter, you get a decimal. Now do plus 8, so plus 8, hit enter. Now do divided by 60 again. Okay, and this time you can see what I get, 0.13611. You can stop the video to double check if you want. So then I'm going to 
add 56, so plus 56, hit enter. So now I have 56 plus that long decimal. I want the secant of that. And then I'm thinking, oh man, there's no secant button on my calculator. What am I going to do? So on the calculator, there's the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. And I don't know if you remember, but when we were doing the six trig functions, I always had you write the the partner functions next to them. The partner for sine is cosecant, for cosine is secant, that's a hint, and for tangent is cotangent. So I can't use the, the secant button, I have to use the cosine button. So you have to know something about the relationship between cosine and secant. Do you remember what that relationship is? They're reciprocals of each other, right? So if this was one-third, this would be 3 over 1, right? Um, so I can do the cosine. If I want the secant, I do the cosine of that angle, and then I do the reciprocal of it. So we're going to do cosine, and we've got this in our calculator. So cosine second answer and hit enter, you'll get your answer, but I don't want the cosine, I want the secant, so I have to take the reciprocal of that. Well, there's a little button on your calculator that will do the reciprocal, it's the x negative one key. So see if you can find that key, and do that key next to the answer, and it will flip it over for you, and you should be able to get the final answer as, um, 1.7946. And again, I'm always rounding to four decimal places. It was 79461.7265 if you want to check it on your own calculator. Um, but, so that's how to do the, um, <coughs> the angles that are reciprocal angles. So, whenever you have to do the secant or the cosecant or the cotangent of some angle, just do its partner function, and then when you get the answer, flip it over. Take the reciprocal of it, and um, that should work. Try these. Make sure you check your answers with the answers in the back of the book so that you're getting these right, because it's a little bit tricky when you're trying to figure out what's going on here. Now, the next section deals with... Um, when you are given these decimal numbers, how can you find what the angle is? So that's a little bit trickier to do. Um, let's see if we can do that.